my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore welcome to carmel prayer and reflection on the gospel it's the friday of the 27th week in ordinary time the holy gospel according to luke chapter 11 verses 15 to 26 yet some of them said he drives out demons by the power of belzebul the chief of the demons others wanted to put him to the test by asking him for a heavenly sign but jesus knew their thoughts and said to them every nation divided by civil war is on the road to ruin and will fall if satan also is divided his empire is coming to an end how can you say that i drive out demons by calling upon belzebul if i drive them out by belzebul by whom do your sons drive out demons they will be your judges then but if i drive out demons by the finger of god would not this mean that the kingdom of god has come upon you as long as a man strong and well armed guards his house his goods are safe but when a stronger man attacks and overcomes him the challenger takes away all the weapons he relied on and disposes of his spoils whoever is not with me is against me and whoever does not gather with me scatters when the evil spirit goes out of a person it wanders through dry lands looking for a resting place and finding none it says i will return to my house from which i came when it comes it finds the house swept and everything in order then it goes to fetch seven other spirits even worse than itself they move in and settle there so that the last state of that person is worse than the first the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ when danger lurks what kind of protection do you and i seek what kind of protection do we seek especially when danger lurks Jesus came to free us from the greatest danger of all the corrupting force of evil which destroys us from within and makes us slaves to sin and satan evil is not an impersonal force that just happens it has a name and a face and it seeks to master every heart and soul on the face of the earth scripture my dear friends identifies the evil one by many names what are they satan belzebul the prince of demons the evil the deceiver the father of lies and lucifer the fallen angel who broke rank with god and established his own army and kingdom in opposition to god 
Jesus declared that he came to overthrow the power of Satan and his kingdom. Jesus' numerous exorcisms brought freedom to many who were troubled and oppressed by the work of evil spirits. Jesus himself encountered personal opposition and battle with Satan when he was put to the test in the wilderness just before his public ministry. He overcame the evil one through his obedience to the will of his father. Satan, Jesus says, does not fight with himself. Satan does not fight with himself. He does not rebuke his own servants. It follows then that the devils do not depart from people on their own accord, but retire unwillingly. How can a strong person be defeated except by someone who is stronger? Jesus asserted his power and authority to cast out demons as a clear demonstration of the reign of God. Jesus' reference to the finger of God points back to Moses' confrontation with Pharaoh and his magic magicians who represented Satan and the kingdom of darkness. Jesus claims to be carrying on the tradition of Moses whose miracles freed the Israelites from the bondage by the finger of God. Let us pray. Lord, help me in my weakness and increase my trust in you and in your power to resist temptation. Amen. Have a great day, my dear friends. May infant Jesus bless all your intentions especially intentions of those who send their prayer requests, who help us in our ministry. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. My number is 91 94 8126322 thank you